good to see Sandro out training. Is he fully fit and raring to go for tomorrow night? Yeah, yeah. He's um, we we have been very careful with Sandro because he's he's been out for long periods and and when he's been put back in too early, he's, he's had a little niggle and he's had to miss out a few weeks previously. But he's done more training than he's ever done before. So we we strengthened the injury and um, and we're hoping that he's ready to go. Yeah. So the injury list now: Kirakesh, Lamella, Walker. Is that it? Bit more than that, so unfortunately. Um, Kapu and, and Danny Rose will, will be missing. So we were clearing them up, but it looks like we're back to square one again, but with different personnel. And Jermaine won't be fit for tomorrow night? No, unfortunately not. No, he'll be, he'll be at the game to so say his goodbyes at half time, yeah. hopefully. Just sort of pay tribute to his Tottenham career. <laughs> Jermaine Defoe is just the possibly one, obviously Jimmy Greaves, you would argue, but one of the best goal scorers this club's ever seen, you know, and um let's hope we can we can we can find another one like Jermaine Defoe because um he's all about goals. He's a real whenever he put on the Tottenham shirt he always played with, with his heart and, and spirit for the club and give everything and um and everyone appreciates his efforts here and he certainly will be a legend at the football club. What did you learn from Dnieper last week? Well, we we realised that they got threats, you know, they got a lot of pace on a counter attack. Um, we didn't learn as much as we liked about the defence, but I'm hoping that we'll find out a lot more tomorrow night because um, we we're going to try and get on the front foot and um, and push them back and 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 see what see how they can defend. We know they got threats on the on the counter attack, but um, we have to just deal with that, you know. It's, uh, it's as simple as that. We there's no point waiting until the last five minutes of the game and, and then decide that we're going to um, we're going to now come out and play. We're going to come out and play from the start. You know, hopefully we can put this put this to bed. See, the defeat was then followed up by a defeat at Norwich on Sunday as well. Would you say being in the, this competition this season has damaged your chances of getting a top four finish? Well, I wouldn't use it as an excuse, and I, and I never have, but. The facts are, you'd have to say that the record isn't fantastic, you know, both home and away, after home games and away games in Europe. The next result has not been great. Um, so the facts suggest that, but I wouldn't use that as an excuse myself. With that in mind, would it almost be a blessing in disguise were you to go out tomorrow night? No. No. Um, we want to progress in this in this competition. You know, it means a lot to a lot to us. You know, we're not we're not blessed with with a lot of trophies recently and um, and I think it's an opportunity to progress and, and do our best in, in this competition and still fight for that fourth place. It's nine points, sorry, nine games played to this point, another eight games if you want to win the Europa League. Would you say it's too long a competition? It's a long one, isn't it? It's obviously the, the hardest one you would have to say on quality is the Champions League, but on endurance, it surely must be the Europa League because you're getting the um, the dropouts from the Champions League. There's still some massive teams left in this, so it is a real tough one to win. Um, and you see, it is sapping. It is sapping because you're having the games, but we'd rather rather have the games and worry about picking up the points after the games in the league. Looking at the Premier League situation, how tough is top four looking now after Sunday? It's, it's huge huge anyway you know it's always going to be tough it's always going to be a tough task because there's so many so many teams want that fourth place and there's more fighting for it this year than there ever than there's ever been before but um we know that we still we still got an opportunity to to pick up points and we'll play cardiff on sunday if we can get maximum points there and liverpool can lose at southampton we still got to go to anfield you never know you know there'll be a lot of swings and roundabouts we just got to make sure we're in with it in with a fight right to the death as you say, you are in the situation where you're relying on teams above you to slip up. Yep. Who are the most likely to slip up when you look at the teams above you? Well, there's only Liverpool above us, isn't there? So. Well, Arsenal, can you see them maybe dropping no. out? No, I, I think I, 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 possibly Liverpool are going, and, and they haven't got any interruptions, have they, Liverpool? They're only going for that fourth place, so they will, I'm sure Brendan will be looking to push yourself higher than fourth place. So. Could be right. I mean, it would take it take a massive fall from grace for I think to, for Chelsea and Man City to to drop into that. Possibly Arsenal. Well, we can't rely on other people slipping up. Really, I know we're going to need it um, along the way, but uh, we need to concentrate on on what we do because if you if you can't beat um, with respect Norwich away, you don't deserve to be in the Champions League. 
would you say after Sunday, this is the toughest moment of your brief managerial career, trying to keep spirits up? It's been, yeah, it's been real hard this week. That has been tough. You're right. It's, it's, listen, it's, it's been a great start for me, and, and to get to get a defeat and, and two on the spin has been has been a big blow. Yeah, but we need to. That's what it's all about. You know, you ain't going to win every game. You know, we've had a great start, and especially in the Premier League. Um, but you're going to take knocks, and there's going to be blows. But you, it, it's the character then of the players, and especially me as the leader of, the, of this group, to to stand up and fight. And anyone who knows me knows that's what's going to happen. You've had two back-to-back uh, -back defeats. Um, first time as well, they, they failed to score Spurs. Um, what's it been like in training this week in terms of getting the strikers motivated and back up for it? I know Emmanuel Adebayo's had a lot of responsibility recently as well. It's, it's an opportunity, I suppose, for Roberto Soldado to, to step up. Yeah, I, Ro Robbie knows that he, it, it, his time's come, you know, and, and hopefully that is, that is tomorrow. He'll be, he'll be playing tomorrow. And... Um, and, and, and hopefully we can see him hitting the back of the net. You know, we, we know what he can do. We know he's a top player or he wouldn't be at the club. Um, it's just it's just now's the time for him to to one ricochet off his backside and go in and the confidence comes flooding back and then he can go on a run, which, which Adi Bayo's had from, uh, since the time I've come in.